Part of the season has been about um, letting guys bet into maybe some new positions and a new position in terms of that, those leadership roles that we expect of guys. Um, I suppose ultimately my, my style of coaching is to give ownership and accountability to, to the players. They need to drive it. Um, and it's important to have leaders who, who can do that. So obviously then Mike leaving on a short-term basis to go to Ospreys back in early December has given me an opportunity to step up into the, the head coach role for a short period, which has been really exciting from my point of view. Uh, it's a great opportunity, a uh, fabulous club like Lansdowne. It's, it's the opportunities like this don't come, come along very often. Had a tough uh, start to the season, losing five games in a row. I think it's the first time it's happened to to me here in a coach capacity in Lansdowne for, for since I've been here. Um, so when Mike left, I suppose that you know with big change comes comes big opportunity. Um, and I think the guys have really stepped up to the plate um, and, and taken ownership of the team themselves. Um, they're driving standards uh, a little bit higher than, than maybe we were before. Maybe we've taken a foot off the pedal a wee bit. Um, so yeah, look, we, we've had a little bit of change in terms of our some good fortune has come our way over the last few weeks. We've managed to string together a couple of results, which has been really encouraging and really positive. Um, but I suppose, again, the nature of the, the division in terms of Division 1A, it's so tight and, and, and a loss can drop you down a few positions and you can be in a relegation zone. Um, you know, similarly, a couple of wins and all of a sudden you're you're knocking on the door to playoffs. Um, I suppose certainly in terms of the first team squad and, and, and the broader kind of management around it, it's, I suppose it's about, it's about one big family um, and about everybody helping each other out. Um, Leinster have, have a lot of values that talk about band of brothers. It's, we don't, I suppose, write that up on the walls, but certainly it's a part of our culture around here. Um, it's one in, all in. There's a very much a, a unified feeling around the club and um, a little bit of excitement has been generated around the club the last couple of weeks with a few victories. It's amazing how those, those victories can create that excitement and similarly when you, you're on the back of a few losses, it, it, it can be difficult. But, you know, the club has really rallied around, I suppose, the first team in, in that regard. And, yeah, look, it's a club that I've been a part of now for a number of years. I feel very privileged to be to be a part of it. And, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a fabulous club.